Hello. <sighs> I don't <laughs> I'm nervous for some reason. Oh my god, did I just snort again? <sighs> Y'all, sometimes I just get really nervous to go on live stream. It's a weird thing. So hello. Um again. I'm gonna be looking down uh to read what you guys are saying onto this here phone. So, hello you guys. So, yeah. Um, hi Tabitha, Kieran, Hannah, Dolly, the board housewife, Kendall, who's Francis? I don't even know who Francis is like, no idea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all are going to think I'm crazy. It's just an inside joke. I promise. <sighs> but thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. James, welcome to Stream Queens. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Francis. <laughs> inside joke, I promise. Just a friend. Um, inside joke with her new potential girlfriend. I promise. Not like that. It's not like that. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Um, what's new in the house? Nothing. Oh, thank you, James. You think I look pretty? I appreciate it. Um, I'm in the mood to hear a story from you. Okay. What type of story? Y'all, my life is like so boring right now. I can't even like... Oh! I got my second vaccine yesterday. So that did happen. Be proud. Um... Uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I got Moderna. Someone's texting me right now. So I'm just going to be honest. Someone's texting me and they're being, I don't know what they're being, but they're being, um, so far my symptoms, like literally just my arm was hurting really bad while I was trying to sleep and like. Uh, the lymph nodes on this side of my body were hurting. Um, that's like about it. I've had a little bit of a headache, maybe more tired than usual. Maybe that's why I'm so loopy. I feel loopy, like, honestly. Um, I don't have a new girlfriend. I promise you guys, if I did, I would be telling you. But yeah. You guys would know. Um, lymph nodes is such a weird word. I know. I, I literally think the same thing. And we have so many all over our body. Like, it's kind of creepy. Um, please make OnlyFans. No, I don't think so. Like, what would I post on there? I don't really have, like, anything to post on there. I mean, obviously, I do have things to post on there. But I wouldn't, if that makes sense. You're so pretty, honest, and wholesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're super sweet. Um, What would you prefer me to knit? A cowl, a shawl, a headband, or a hat, or gloves? Uh, do a headband. Do a headband. Where's Twinkie? She's so cute, lover. She's right next to me. I actually had to take her to the vet yesterday. That made me sad. It's because um, she just wasn't acting like normal. Like one minute, like she was just acting super slow and just like not herself and like the Twinkie that, you know, I love and adore. So we took her, nothing's wrong. I think she just has a stomach ache, honestly. So um, it seems like you're heavily flirting with someone already. No. I mean, 
I don't like, okay. So I'm a 30 year old and if I want to flirt with someone, like I should be allowed to. And that's just like the way that I see things. Um, it is what it is. Like I'm not looking for a relationship or anything like that. So, I mean, that's, you know, it's like whatever. my god so yeah um <laughs> you look so guilty there's no like i'm not guilty um it's just people think that they can like tell me not to flirt and stuff and i just think that's so crazy like we only live once and i'm gonna be honest i've never done the whole <sighs> um like, just flirting with someone and not, like, trying to be in a relationship. Like, I've never done that before. So, it's definitely different for me. Because <laughs> I'm very, I don't know. I just feel like, maybe, never mind. I shouldn't say. Um. Anyways. An orange chicken live? No. <laughs> Dang, you glued to the phone. I am, that's how I read my chat. It just makes it easier. How's your mom? Haven't heard you mention her in a while. Um, any health improvements? I'm losing a little bit of weight, so that's cool. But how's my mom? She's really good. Um, there was a moment where I thought I was going to move to Oklahoma, but I'm going to be honest. I don't think... That's right for me. I feel like I have to sneeze. Oh my god. Nope. Um, don't let people make you feel bad for finding peace. I agree. Why are you acting like someone is with you? I'm not. <laughs> nope. Um, so if she's moping, it's bad. And if she's flirting, it's bad. She really can't win. Good for you, Amber, you're, if you're moving on. Thank you. I mean, yeah, like... Becky and I are friends, and um, she's single, I'm single, she can do what she wants, and I can do what I want, so that's just really how it is, so. <laughs> I'm a dancer, and I've always loved that you used to be a dancer, but we're... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. What was I reading? Um, what were some of your favorite dances? Um, I don't know. I did hip hop dancing. That was the main one. I did do one jazz. Um, but my favorite, I was in this, uh, group called space. It was when I was in a group home when I was younger, it was in Ukiah, California. And I would probably say that was my most favorite time dancing because I was in a whole ass group and we would perform in front of like huge crowds. Um, I'd say that was my favorite time, to be honest. I definitely miss dancing for sure, but you know. Um, where is Becky? She's in her bedroom. So do I have a type? Um... I used to not have a type, but I think I do have a type if I'm being honest. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm into like super girly girls. Like it's just something like I like Blake Lively. We all know that, but it's like actually dating wise. I don't know if I'd be with like a, like a girly girl, like someone who dresses like me. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I've always been too self-conscious to dance, but I freaking love music. I feel it. Yes. I want to be brave enough to dance. Do it. Do it. Dancing. Dancing is very therapeutic. Like I haven't danced in a hot minute, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. Have you always dated girls? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't remember a time I didn't like girls. Like, I literally, 
my first kiss was when I was like five, like with a girl. But as for guys, like I have dated guys, I've had plenty of boyfriends. Um, it's just not my thing. I thought I was bisexual for a very long time. But then when I was 18, I realized I ain't, I ain't wanting the dick. Like I'm good. <laughs> Is Becky over the lives now or are y'all beefing? No, we're not beefing. She just, I don't know. Honestly, she hasn't told me. She just hasn't been on them. Um, Welcome to Stream Queens, Lindsay. Will you be my girlfriend? No, sorry. I seem down. I'm definitely not down. I just feel kind of like, I don't know, relaxed, I guess. Like just pretty calm and, you know, just chilling. No hate, real talk. What's your opinion on channels like Karina Kaboom, Orange Queen, and Life of a Free Spirit? Yes, they critique, but also wish you best. Um... <laughs> oh my God, hold on. Sorry, I got a text. It is what it is. I don't just laugh at nothing, obviously. But I don't really have opinions. Like, just the only thing is, like, I feel like if the only way you can make YouTube content and make content and make money is literally making fun of someone else, and that's honestly ridiculous in my opinion, and it sounds like something a 12-year-old would do. So... There's a difference between like a drama channel or whatever, but then there's a difference between, hi, I'm gonna make a whole YouTube channel and just react to the same old person over and over. Like, it's just dumb. Was Casey underage and smaller than you when you when you lived with him? Um, Casey is a year younger than I am. Smaller? Yeah, I've never dated someone my size. Um... What is your ambitions, goals for the next year? Now you're single and ready to mingle. Also, what's your favorite color? Thank you so much for the super chat. Favorite color is emerald green. Goals for the next year. Um, I don't know. I just really want to focus on like my health and stuff like that and like happiness and... I don't really know. Like it's just more so like focusing on myself, honestly. And not always putting someone else's needs before mine. Which is really hard because that's just like who I am as a person. I just very much put other people's needs before mine. And I need to work on like not doing that. And just being more motivated. I want to work on that as well. Like in just all aspects of my life. I love you, Amberlynn, longtime follower and supporter. I hope you're doing all right and enjoying your summer. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay. Doing all right, doing all right. Um, 58% of your viewers ask for weight loss content. When will you post that content? I don't know. Um, I definitely need to go back to like filming like actual videos. I get that. I'm hoping soon. If you guys are hearing noises, it's because my cat is messing with something on the table and I'm just kind of letting her do it. Favorite dance move? I don't know if I have a favorite dance move, honestly. What is your max deadlift? What? Probably like a pound. No, I'm joking. I honestly don't know. I think it's better when you post the content you want. It feels more authentic. I agree. I see breasticles. Huh? Wait, am I like... Okay, no, I don't think it's me. I'm good. Thoughts on Rafe exposing you? I don't know what you're talking about. Why wouldn't you let Bre <laughs> Brecky, uh, Becky break up with you at Christmas? I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all confuse me sometimes. 
um Becky actually was going to propose <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys about the story but Becky was going to propose to me literally for my birthday which is only two days after Christmas and I actually found out so it kind of like ruined it, the moment for her I guess but I told her she could do what she wants like whatever so she ended up actually waiting until like three weeks later and did it so she definitely didn't want to break up with me then Welcome to Stream Queens, AJ. Um, is, it hard to, is it hard dating someone who also tends to overeat? I mean, I guess it would be like if you're trying to lose weight. Um, being with someone who kind of has the same struggles as you could be difficult, I'm sure. Do you ever do your hair in braids? Yes, I do. Love the highlight. Thank you. It's uh, Fenty Beauty, which is which is pretty great. Would you rather be able to speak and understand every language or able to speak to animals? Speak to animals in a heartbeat. In a freaking heartbeat. I would love to know what my fur babies think. That'd be awesome. I don't know what people expect you to be or talk about right now you're going through a breakup moving just continue to be you yeah I'm trying really hard to not let people get to me and force me into doing certain content because right now I just I don't have it thoughts on the controversy controversy situation type deal surrounding your constant use of the word gaslight I don't know I don't know what that means like I know what gaslight means, but I don't know, understand your question because I don't use that word a lot, in my opinion. I love Amber's hair and the braid on the shoulder. It's so pretty. Thank you. Are you terrified thinking YouTube might end? You have no education or job skills. You know what? At this rate, I just can't even talk. Um, how would you support yourself? I don't want to think about that. That's like kind of negative and I'm just not really wanting to talk about anything negative right now. Um, obviously YouTube will end eventually, but like that goes for a lot of jobs. Like just when you work somewhere, it doesn't mean they're, it's going to be there forever. You never know what could happen. So um, I don't just think that way when it comes to YouTube. I think that way towards a lot of jobs. So you definitely seem more relaxed and chill today. Love your shirt. Where did you get it? Thank you. It's actually a dress and I got it from Hot Topic. Um, it has a moon cut out. I also have a purple one that has a heart cut out. Also from Hot Topic. I absolutely adore. It's so great. Um, girl, we know we are all... Wait, girl, you know we're all invested in you. Use your time wisely as you make these big bucks. By taking care of yourself, move more than you eat and change your mindset. Unlearn behaviors, it's up to you. This is a new chapter for you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I'm figuring it all out. Don't worry, I'm trying to at least. Um, I'm obsessed with it, but never wear dresses. I'm too self-conscious. Don't be self-conscious, but I totally understand. Um, do you have plans for the weekend? I do. I'm going to be going to a friend's house again. It's been like every weekend. So, um, you have that new person in your life glow, like how you smile at their texts. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just talking to this person. Like they, they do make me smile and it is what it is, but it's not like that. Like we're not going to be in a relationship, so. <sighs> oh my god. Can you do an updated soup recipe? Sure. You shouldn't visit friends without second COVID shot. I do have my second COVID shot. I just got it yesterday and I know it's not like in my system, but I feel it in my system. It's making my head hurt. And my arm was hurting, but I got it on my dominant hand, which is my left or dominant arm. And uh, that was a really good idea because I use this arm obviously more than my other one. So 
they said it's supposed to help with pain. And I think it does because I don't think it hurts as bad as like what people were making it seem like it was going to. Um, I'm very grateful I haven't gotten sick. I was very worried about that. Um, um, so yeah. Everyone should get their vaccine. I'm not sponsored or anything. Can you imagine? I'm sponsored by Moderna. That'd be hilarious. Um, do you eat before or after running a 4K? I've never ran a 4K. Like, are you kidding? That has to be a troll. You're newly single. Stretch out those flirting muscles. I feel, I don't know. I don't know. I've never flirted like really with more than one person at once. Like talked, if you will. So. um, Like I like to like, I don't know what I'm saying. Forget it. Let's move on. Um, I'm kind of nervous. For the COVID shot, I have multiple autoimmune, autoimmune diseases and the side effects freak me out. Trust me, I was right there with you. I was terrified. I had a lot of anxiety yesterday, but I tried my hardest to like play it off. Like my stomach was in knots because I didn't know, you know? And then when they made me wait, they're like, um, can you wait here for 15 minutes just in case? I was like, just in case what? What do you mean? Um, what you mean? No. So, um, yeah, I was definitely like really scared, but you, you need to get it. In my opinion, I think everyone should get it. Um, it's not just going to help you, but it's going to help the people around you, the people you love, strangers. So, um, <laughs> I can't, I just can't with life okay so yeah I understand being scared though because trust me I was too if you could change three things that were your fault in your relationship with Becky what would they be did you see the breakup coming no I did not see the breakup coming if I could change three things that were my fault in the relationship um Twinkie's snoring, by the way. She's having a good ass nap. So if you're snoring, that's what that is. Um, I literally can't think of anything. I know that sounds bad, but it's just like, I wouldn't change anything because I am who I am and I don't want to change for anyone. And that's just me being honest. So... What was the hardest uh, breakup for you to mourn? Um, so I'm going to say Destiny. Uh, I've already talked to Becky about this. And I think it's just because me and Destiny throughout our whole relationship was, be was very affectionate and very physical. And with Becky and I, for the last, you know, couple years, it wasn't like that. So it very much did feel like a roommate situation. So it was, the breakup hurt like so much, but it kind of felt a little bit easier because it wasn't super romantic and stuff like that. So I'm just going to say Destiny because with her, it was harder because it went from me having someone who was super affectionate and physical with me all of a sudden to not having that. So it was like, whoa. Um, but if we're just talking about emotionally, it's been harder with Becky because... I don't know, but I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, flirting helps. So, um, if new person wanted to take you on a date, would you obviously like what? <laughs> of course I would. Um, how's Ricky? He's good. I'm seeing him this weekend. Who was your ugliest ex? Oh my God. I am not answering that. I'm getting a kitty soon and I'm really excited. Oh, I love that. So cute. 
Who is cuter as her vagina? What? Who? Are you asking if I prefer like butt or vagina? I don't understand. Um, well, that's what you do in therapy. It's all up to the person who wants to change their lives and their mental. You have power. You have powerful with, I swear, talking and reading so much without stopping really gets to you, especially when it's out loud. Whew. Obviously, you can manifest anything you want. Take this time. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, I do want to get a therapist, though. You're <laughs> absolutely correct. Um, I really do need, need to go to therapy. Why are you a dry girl with pasta? Uh, I just prefer my pasta to be, um, a little bit more dry. I don't know. That's so weird. Um, um would you ever put shells in the bathroom again as decor? Probably not. It's not really my my uh style anymore will you say hot dog water for me hot dog water is that like a kink who else is excited for becky glow up me i think therapy is different for everyone but important to maintain a healthy lifestyle with healthy habits which we all could use Amber's new girl, ask her on a date, do it. They won't. <laughs> they won't. Um, kinky hot dog water. <laughs> kinky hot dog water. Love that. So, yeah. <sighs> what is this person spamming? They really think that I can't block them? Like... What's the point of like wasting your money? Hmm? Yes, hot dog water is a kink. You're fucking lying. You're lying. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm good. I don't care who you are. We ain't, we ain't fucking with no hot dog water. <laughs> First time seeing your live. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much. I hope you are too. Do you watch Willow Davis? No. I have not been watching YouTube lately. I feel so bad. I popped in onto Chantel's live. I think it was yesterday or last night. No, it was Tuesday because she titled her video Wifey. <laughs> and I actually had someone ask me if Chantel was my new wifey. Oh my God, I love that. I was like, no, that, definitely not. Was Becky a rebound? It's an unfortunate thing that happens to a lot of people and sometimes the person rebounding doesn't know until years later when they realize the love isn't like love, love. Um, No, I, she wasn't a rebound. I don't understand the whole rebound thing. I'm gonna be honest, actually. I don't know what that means. Like, I know what it means, but I don't know, like, how do you decide if it's a rebound or not like I don't get it because when I like someone I like someone whether it's after a relationship or a few months after a relationship like I don't know literally these chicken tenders are turning me on what are you talking about there's no way oh my god is food a turn on for people for real mm. Mm. that's weird Girl, seriously, I see such good qualities in you. Instead of thinking I'm instead of thinking I'm going to do it on Monday or do it tomorrow, do it today. Walk, keep walking, keep moving. More than you eat, you can do it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. I do want to start walking some. Um, is your new wifey in America too? Girl, go on a date. Yes. Um, I don't think wifey wants to go on a date, so I'll just go on one with someone else. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I genuinely do wish you a healthy, happy healing. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Um, I might slather myself in buttermilk ranch. I hope you have a lot of fun doing that. That sounds like very interesting. Um, cool. <laughs> Would you do walking videos? Sure. Why not? I'll do any type of video when I'm in the mood. <laughs> um, what do you, oh shoot, do you have a new wifey? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, no. <sighs> I don't understand what's happening. I don't know. We're just like friends that, you know. Oh my God. Hmm. Can we go on a date? Oh, sure, you're pretty. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Um. Oh. Wow. How do these people keep like spamming? I don't understand. Because I swear to be able to comment, you have to become a member. And then to become a member, I have to physically see it. So it's weird. I don't understand. Um, can I be added to that date? Oh my gosh. You guys would not date me. Come on. Get real. You guys are sweet though. I love that. Um, followed you forever. Hoping you find true happiness. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? I love that. Thank you so much. Um, been watching you for years. First time catching you live. You look stunning. Thank you. You're so sweet. Describe new wifey in three words. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling put on the spot here. Three words. Attractive, obviously. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling shy. I can't do it. Because she has to tell me first th the three words. And then, yeah. Hmm. How will you physically move to another state if you can't drive? Okay. I don't know what the two have to do with each other, but... I mean, I'm not moving to another state, though, but I don't know what the two have to do with each other. How does Becky feel about wifey? They like each other. Supposedly, they're friends. Mm, sure. But it's not new wifey. Like, if you're tuning in now, it's not like a girlfriend or anything. I'm single. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so the three words. <sighs> Um, okay, so attractive. <laughs> I'm feeling so awkward. Um, charming. Um, <sighs> I want to say hardworking. So. Um, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. Sorry, I'm just like, okay, where am I at here? Fem stems, or studs. Um, I don't really go, like, I'm not trying to be mean, but, like, my initial reaction isn't going for, like, a fem. Like, I watch these TikToks where, like, a girl can do both, and I'm always more attracted to the more, like, masculine like stud look that's just like how it is for me um but you never know like you could vibe with someone that you're not you know is not really your type so i don't know um i want to say shut up amber when you say stuff like man i'm not dateable lol only because I think it's you being hard on your own self. Mm, no, I really just... No, I don't know. Maybe I am too hard on myself. 
Stop saying you're going to do it. Change your mentality. Actions speak louder than words. You losing the weight and change your own lifestyle. This is going to take your whole life. You right. You definitely right. Um, does wifey know how to drive? Yes. Oh my God. Is it an egg allergy or egg intolerance? Intolerance. You have found a new girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I promise. Trust me on that. That is not a girlfriend. Hmm. She don't want a relationship and neither do I. Explain how you don't like men but are attracted to masculine women. Um, maybe masculine isn't the right word, but um, women... Okay. I don't like penis. So it's that. Like if you have a penis, I don't want to be with you. So I don't care actually what gender you are. It's just if you have a penis in between your legs, I don't want um, to be in bed with you like that. So that's what I mean. My preference is vagina. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to explain that. Um, how old is wifey? I don't know if I'm allowed to be answering these questions. I feel like this is all the whole live stream is. <sighs> Plot twist, the new girl's destiny. Absolutely not. New wifey is Becky. Oh my God. Um, wifey is 25. So that's that. You deserve 10 girlfriends. Don't make me cry. You're so sweet. Oh my God, you're so cute. Love that. Wow, I deserve 10 girlfriends. Okay, so that's a poly relationship, which I was in an open relationship once. And meh, meh. Would you be with a pre-op trans woman? Yes. Um, not a wifey, isn't girlfriend, so a uh, friends with benefits. I don't know what to, I, I guess, I don't know. I've never had one of them before, so I don't know. Um, I think we should call wifey Dom. No, that's not <laughs> Let's just call wifey wifey and we can just like, you know, yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Is your hot girl summer in full effect? Totally. More like fat girl summer. Let's be real. Um, it's time to leave the South, pick up and move to California. I don't want to, I don't think I want to go there. I'm thinking maybe like New York. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I'm just kidding. Not really. Um, listen to wifey. Oh, there's a song called wifey. I've got to listen to it for sure. Um, Yeah. I can give you ranch girl summer. What is that? Oh my God. I can't. So you'll be with a pre-op woman, but not a man. Okay. Literally, let me just answer your question. I will not be with someone if they have a penis. I just don't like penis. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay? That's all it is. I feel like I have to sneeze again. I can't sneeze today for some reason. Every time I feel like I'm going to. It's weird. Okay. She was actually in an open relationship twice and just didn't know it. <laughs> that was, oh my God, that was actually so, oh wow, that was good. That was good. Um, I bet you would sleep with Chantel if you could. I honestly wouldn't. And that's like not like shade towards her because I think she's gorgeous, but she is my friend. Um, and it's not like that at all. So. Am 
Nemo, I don't know why you care so much, like, if, who, like, okay, um, a person can have a penis and identify as a woman, exactly, that's why I'm sitting here just saying, like, a person with a penis I don't want, that's all it is, it's just a preference, Least favorite reaction channel? I don't know because I don't I don't watch those anymore. I don't care about them anymore. Like life is so much better when I don't pay attention to a bunch of people just like sitting around making fun of me or like being rude. Like you know, come to Seattle. Oh my god. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Low key heartbroken that I'm too femme for Amberlynn. Oh. You trolling? Now I feel bad. Don't be heartbroken. You never know. You never know. Um. I noticed how you described your pets as gay. If you had a son and he was straight, would you disown him? What kind of a question? No, I said that wasabi is like bisexual, I think. I'm pretty sure. But if my son was straight, would I disown him? That doesn't even make sense. Absolutely not. Amber gives us all the tea. Not all of it. I'm in agreement with the Cali move, though. Just saying. Oh, move to Key West. Oh, my God. I want to visit Key West, Florida so bad because I was born there. Parents moved when I was a baby, so I didn't get to, like, experience it or anything. So I'd love to visit there sometime. I'm going to dip that eggplant in some ranch. What is happening in this chat right now? Um, move to New York. Oh, someone wants me to move to New York. Hmm. Nah. What are you doing with your engagement ring? I don't know. Throwing it in the ocean, in the lake, in a pond. Um, so yeah. Wifey's from New York, OVS. No, I don't know. I don't want to give like details. It's just like, I don't know. Because people do some fuck shit and I don't want, no. Girl, you're blushing. I'm wearing blush. Maybe that's why. Do you prefer fingers or dildo? Did someone just ask me that? Should I answer? Hmm. Should I answer that question? Or should I keep it private? <laughs> what is happening in these chats? <laughs> I guess when I'm single, people be, uh... Um... Okay, so fingers or dildo? I prefer... Don't go full Chantel on a bust. Oh, no, no, no. I won't do that. Don't worry. Um, it's not Chantel's fault, though. Okay, so anyways. Fingers or dildo? Fingers. It is what it is. It is what it is. I opened chat and heard I don't like penis. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Because it's true. <laughs> um, I told you in the DMs to come to San Diego. Maybe. I've actually never been there before. Is Becky with you right now? Nope. Someone said ew. Um, did Becky move out? No. We both still live here. Tell us a bit about her hair color, eye color. Oh my god. I don't want to give anything away. I mean, I know there's like, what? Millions of people in the USA? <laughs> millions 
But y'all are like, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. Um, I feel like we're at a sleepover. <laughs> Should I go put on my PJs and get comfy? Yes, girl, say it loud and say it proud. Welcome to Stream Queens for Brained Bros. Where'd you meet wifey? Just spill the tea. Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways. Lindsay said she met her on Instagram. Hmm. Does Becky have a new wifey too? No. Nope. You guys aren't going to know any more information. Because it's just not my information to give. And yeah. Uh, favorite Starbucks drink? Probably like one of their refreshers. wifey's social security number i'm leaving oh my god so if you ever start dating wifey you won't post about her or vlog her I, it's not gonna be like that nope uh those refreshers are straight sugar no they're like 100 calories of just like tea and stuff um amberlynn you look so pretty thank you if Amber ever dates femmes, I'll be the first. She said I'm gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Are you kidding? Um, Have I ever dated a femme before? Like a true... I've... See, I used to make out with a lot of people. I don't consider that like really like hooking up or whatever. But I've dated a lot. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Kissed a lot of femmes. I will be honest. But never like dated or like anything like that um I just don't know how like we would vibe like I always think about that I don't know does wifey wear snapbacks um I mean I haven't seen her in one so um ALR is turned out. What does that mean? Um, okay. Who's this Carrie person? I can't. Okay. We are making a line for potato. <laughs> for potential femme wifeys where are all okay no against a femme wifey because hi but where are all the the other <laughs> like studs where are you at though i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding um can wifey please stand up oh my god i can't with this if this was becky talking about a wifey on live stream you'd literally feel so sad why are you doing her like that? Um, I'm not doing her like anything. Like, I've been on FaceTime with her and Becky's right there. Like, it's not like some big weird thing. Like, Becky broke up with me. Like, she's she's she was over it. <laughs> I finally started writing in my notebook to you. Oh my God, yes. I'm excited to get it, girl. So excited. What's a fudge lesbian? Am I missing something? I don't know what that is. Am I still looking into weight loss surgery? No, I'm not. I have kept 115 pounds off for six years with the sleeve. Oh, wow. Good job. That's amazing. 
Did you see the Miley Kylie love performance? I have not. I need to see it. Because you guys know me and Miley Cyrus. Love. Um... Okay, lack of daisy, I will literally block you. Like, I'm not kidding. That's not funny in any shape, way, or form. I absolutely love to hear you happier sounding in this live. Hope, Miss Wifey, and you are healthy and happy. Oh, my God. P.S. You could talk, talk about whatever you want. Thank you. It's not like that, though. I mean, she does. I guess she does make me happy, but it's not. I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing. But yeah, she does make me happy and smile, so. Um. Oh my god. My cat's over there doing something. They're always into something, I swear. When are we for... Ooh. When are we freeing Brittany? Why did that feel like a tongue twister? Um, hopefully like today. <sighs> oh my God, that's not picky. Is it raining? What is that noise I'm hearing? I hear some weird noise. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna get off in nine minutes. Yep, they're definitely doing something weird over there. Um, what's the weirdest request you've gotten in a DM? Well, recently someone said they pay me money for a feet pic. So I joked around and I said, okay, daddy. <laughs> oh, I was like, sure, daddy. And I think they believe me. So I had to say, I'm just kidding. So. Wifey is 25. 25 so yeah I feel so old saying that I cannot believe I'm 30 like I feel like a grandma like seriously Wifey is FaceTiming. How did you know that? What in the world? Hmm. Have you heard of Ozempic? I'm two weeks binge free on it. Yes, I have. And that is awesome. I am super proud of you. I'm sure you feel so much better not binging. Congrats on getting your second vaccine. Thank you. I was super scared and nervous, but I did it. Yes, I did. So, yeah. Um, What other updates do I have for you guys? Literally nothing. My life is boring. Do you know who Candace is? No. My husband is six years younger than me. It's no biggie. Oh, wow. Love that. Yeah, I prefer younger. I'm going to just be downright honest. I like when they're younger than me. So. Yeah. Can you curl your hair next time? I feel like it would look so good. My hair won't curl. Like, it can crimp a little bit, but my hair has to be, like, a day or two dirty. Like, don't wash it for two days. Then it'll crimp a little bit. But for some reason, it will not curl. It's so weird. Um, do you still like Subway? I haven't had Subway in a very long time. Um, it's just the things that I have heard about Subway, like, really gives me the creeps. So, I have not touched it. So, Becky is punching air in the other room. What? No, Lindsay is not wifey. Definitely not. 
Have I ate today? I did. I ate a little bit before live. Um... Why are you sorry? The person said they're sorry. I feel like I'm being really boring. I'm sorry, you guys. I will say when Becky's on here with me, it is a little bit more entertaining because we actually, you know, talk. Ew, still trying to figure out what's in Subway's tuna. I honestly, I actually don't know if I want to know. Mm. Oh, she's playing games now. What? I'm not. Oh my God, I keep blocking this person. Mm. That Becky Williams person is not Becky. Um, are you going to celebrate Destiny's birthday when it comes? Her birthday was this month, and no, I did not. Is Becky tired of hearing about wifey? <laughs> um, well, Becky reads my journal, and I have talked about her on there. So maybe I don't just like randomly just like, hey, I don't know. You should get wifey on live. No. Next time we should play the dating show and name a live chat wifey. Yeah, I named the last one um, new wifey. She's probably loving this, honestly. Oh my God. She's probably like, hey, wifey. I can't. Does Becky have a wifey? No. What's your favorite childhood memory? Um, I guess camping with my parents, like on the good days. Um, we would go camping, try to go camping every summer, like when I actually lived with them. So, yeah. Why would she read Lindsay's chat out of everyone else's? I promise that's not her. Won't eat Subway, but KFC, Kit Kat, and ramen. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll eat KFC, Kit Kats, and ramens. So random. Are you going to double date with Wifey and Becky like you did with Destiny and Dana? Oh my god, I can't. Wifey's not dating me. She's not taking me on a date. Huh, Becky? Nope. <laughs> See? Well, are you okay? Yeah, I gotta run to Walmart real quick. Oh, why do you have to go there? Uh, I forgot to look for lanterns today. Oh, okay. Um... Y'all keep trolling with these things. I swear. Anyways. I think I'm going to get off of here. It's been fun. I'll be back again, obviously, on Tuesday. Um, why does my hair look like that? Because... I washed my hair today. I haven't straightened or anything, but it has like curl to it. Like a little like crimpy looking. I don't know. That's weird. Because my hair is naturally straight. Focus. Uh, everyone said hi. Hi. She said hi. So, yeah. Um... So that's a no on tacos. What? Oh, come to Los Angeles. I'll feed you tacos. Oh, man. I don't know. I'd love to visit um, Los Angeles. It'd be fun. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I feel like I'm like super boring. So, yeah. Um, it's been fun. It's been great. It's been wonderful. Thank you guys for, um, joining and tuning in. Um, I know some of you miss Becky and hopefully she'll be on the next one, yes. the so next we'll one on Tuesday because I definitely need some help. We have just been really swamped with a lot of yeah. things. Yeah, we've been busy, so. Anyways, bye you guys. It was fun. Love you.